Imagine launching a full studio quality product campaign. I'm talking Nike level, Apple level, even sexy high fashion perfume ads from a single product photo in under 60 seconds. No photographer, no models, no sets, no revisions. Just upload your photo, choose the brand for your campaign, and you're done. This automation replaces an entire creative team and gives you finished campaign assets in just a couple of minutes. This is the kind of stuff that brands pay $5,000 to $20,000 for. Let me show you how it works. Before we get into the technical side of building the automation, I just wanted to get into some of the tools available to you directly in your browser. This is really helpful if you've never made an ad campaign before, just to show you how easy it is with all the tools like Nano Banana Pro. It's incredible. So I spent the last 15 years as an art director working at Apple and PlayStation, and every year we would have a couple of major campaigns. You can think of a campaign like Back to School is like a really common one, right? A lot of brands will create a campaign for their product that's based off of that time of year, when kids are going back to school, when parents are purchasing, and things like that. So I want to just show you how we could easily start creating variations of these ads so you can start thinking about what this is going to look like once we automate the process. So if you want to get started playing around, just come into aistudio.google.com, and this is where you can get access to Nano Banana just directly in your browser. You can come into the playground here, and you can see we're all set to use Nano Banana Pro. Nano Banana Pro is amazing. It's great at text. It's great at detail. It's great at combining multiple images into one, and that's what we are going to do here. So I thought it'd be really fun to create kind of like a back to school ad. I thought we'd take a look at like a Spider-Man backpack and I wanted us to do it in like a Nike style. So I just searched for some Nike ads. So I want to see how we can combine these two pieces so that when we get into the automation again, all you have to do is upload your product and you will get multiple variations of a single product. And so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna right click on this image. I'm gonna copy the image of the Spider-Man backpack. I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna paste this in. So that's our starting point. The next is one of the most important parts of automation or any of this in general is the prompting. What's really cool is that you can use tools like ChatGPT to help you figure out the prompt. So I'm gonna show you a little trick that I use. What you can do is you can literally just search for Nike ad and I'm just gonna take a screenshot here of all of these Nike ads and I'm just gonna bring this into ChatGPT. And then I'll use dictation mode because I find it's helpful and I can just say something like, these are some images of Nike ads Based off the aesthetic, I want you to create a prompt for an AI image generator to generate new images in this Nike style. Pay attention to composition, pay attention to typography, lighting, elements in the scene, and things like that. So I'll just send this off to ChatGPT, and so ChatGPT is going to analyze all of those ads for us, and then it's going to create a prompt for us. You can see this is describing what a Nike ad is supposed to look like. Cinematic, high contrast sports photography in the classic Nike aesthetic, a single athlete captured mid-action with decisive documentary style framing. So this is super, super helpful. So we can continue to build and refine from there. And so remember I said Google AI Studio is great at combining multiple images. Well, what if I wanted to put me wearing this backpack? So I just have some images of me like from my YouTube channel and I just wanna take one of these. There's a great tool that you can use. I'm just gonna copy the link to this video. And this is a great tool. I literally just searched YouTube thumbnail download and I clicked on this first link and you can paste in any YouTube URL. And now I have this image of me, this thumbnail all ready to go. So I can just take a screenshot of this too. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm also gonna drop this into Google AI Studio. So now I have both the images referenced and ready to go. And now there's one last piece to put it all together, right? We need to create a prompt to have me wearing the Spider-Man backpack in the style of a Nike ad. So I'm just gonna bring the image of me and I'm gonna bring the image of the Spider-Man backpack back into ChatGPT. So I'll just use dictation mode again. Now I need a prompt for an AI image generator. It needs to combine the image of the man with the Spider-Man backpack in the style of a Nike ad. And the theme should be back to school. So the ad should be back to school focused. So I will send this off. And now we're combining all three of these elements to create a prompt for Google AI Studio or Nano Banana. I'm not gonna read this all for you. You can pause here if you wanna read this, but this is the prompt it created. So I'm just gonna copy this, and now we can bring this back inside of Nano Banana or Google Studio to get the image created. And this should just take a couple of seconds to run. 
While we're doing this, there's a couple of other parameters I just want you to look at. One is the aspect ratio, so you can have this set to auto. You can do one to one, which is square. Nine by 16 is vertical, which is great for social media, or 16 by nine is widescreen, which you'll see on YouTube. These are the most common formats. Four or five, you also see a lot in social media. And then now what's cool about Nano Banana Pro is the resolution. You can get all the way up to 4K resolution images, which is pretty incredible. And so now you can see here, like, look at this image. Look, this is me wearing the Spider-Man backpack in the style of a Nike ad. Find your start, Nike, just do it. Like in just a couple of seconds, we have this incredible image. So this is really great for one image, but what if we want to create a second one? Give me a completely different angle or perspective on this style of Nike advertisement, again, featuring the man and the backpack in the style of a Nike ad with the theme back to school. So this gave me a totally new prompt. Instead of being in front of a school, you can see the man sits on the edge of a bed at dawn in a dim room lit by a single hard light. Awesome. So I'm just going to paste this in too, and now we'll get a new perspective. And so you can see how many variations you can create really quickly using this in the browser. But what's cool about doing this with automation is all you need to do is upload an image of your product and the automation will take care of generating all of these different angles for you. So you don't have to go through one by one. This is incredibly fast. This took 22.6 seconds to generate. You can see here, this is me. This is a Spider-Man backpack. Start strong with the Nike swoosh. This looks incredible and just just a couple of seconds. Now that you understand this, I want to show you how you can automate this process. In order to do that, we'll be using my favorite automation platform, N8N, and we'll also be using the service Kai AI, which gives you access to all the latest AI image and video generation models so you can connect them to N8N. And so I'm just going to show you in here real quick. If you go into Nano Banana Pro, I just want to show you the parameters that we're going to be working with today should feel really familiar. We just did this, right? So we have the prompt. This is where you input the prompt. This is where you input any reference images. You select the aspect ratio, the resolution, and the output format. But instead of now doing this in the browser, we're going to be doing this with API calls inside our automation. So let's hop into N8N and get building this so we can start creating total ad campaigns completely on autopilot. Here we are inside of N8N, and our automation today basically exists in two places. One is this automation workflow inside of N8N, which I'm going to walk you through. And then two is this database inside of Airtable where we basically configure everything from all of our brand guidelines and and anything about the campaign and our product images and things like that. So I'm going to walk you through this automation at a high level, and then I'm going to break it down in more detail. And so the first thing we're doing is we're getting our brand guidelines and our product image. We're using ChatGPT to analyze our logo and the product image itself. And then we're creating prompts to use inside of Nano Banana Pro. We're sending this over to Nano Banana Pro to generate all of the images for our campaign. And then once they're done, we're tagging those images with keywords that are relevant for those images themselves. We're saving those back inside of our Airtable database and then we're getting a notification inside of Slack. So at the end, you can see this is the last campaign I ran, and we get all of these nice images for us waiting for us in Slack, as well as saved into our Airtable database. In this assets tab, you can see all of the assets that I've been generating along with all of the tags. So before we dive deep into the automation, I think it's important for you to understand how to configure your product and your brand. What's really cool about this is if you're an agency or you have multiple brands, you can actually save these all in here. And you can generate new images that go with each of the brands. So you can see here I have two, I have Tika and I have the build room and they each have different brand guidelines and a different logo that we're going to incorporate. So really quick today, I'm going to just show you how you can create your own brand guidelines. This is really great to do, especially if you've already been working with ChatGPT. You can really just ask it to create your brand guidelines for you. Of course, if you have your own, you can just go ahead and use those here. What's really cool about using ChatGPT is if you've already been talking to it, it tends to know you pretty well. And so you can literally say something like, based on everything you know about me, I need you to create a one paragraph brand guideline for photography that best resembles my brand. You can send off something like that and you can see what ChatGPT is going to bring back for you. And of course, you can have a back and forth conversation with ChatGPT to kind of get what you want. So you can see build room photography is stripped to the essentials, high contrast, founder centric and utilitarian, etc, etc. And so if you want to copy and paste this, you would just go ahead and bring this into your database, paste this into your brand guidelines, upload your logo and you are good to go. The next thing you're doing is you are bringing in the product you want to create your campaign around. And so here I just have a product, it's Crocs. And in this case, I want to create like a Nike style campaign, right? And you can do the same thing like using ChatGPT. So I can just come in here and I can copy this image and I can come into ChatGPT and I can say, create a one paragraph campaign description for a photography shoot that looks like a Nike ad featuring these Crocs. You can just send off something like that and ChatGPT again will create all of your campaign guidelines. So now you have your brand guidelines, you have your logo, you have your product and the campaign guidelines. And of course you can adjust this to your own liking. A Nike style campaign for this Crocs silhouette. Treat the 
shoes like performance gear built for grit. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this. And why don't we just go ahead and update our campaign guidelines inside of Airtable. And then what's really cool is that you can change this configuration here. So if we go ahead and click this plus, now you can see we have access to both of the two brands that we have in our brand configuration. So I'll go ahead and select the build room here. And then this is how many images you want to generate for your campaign. Right now I've set this to four and we're basically all good to go. So I'm just going to come into NADN and I'm going to click execute workflow and then I'm going to walk you through everything that's going on. So in order to run this, go ahead, click execute workflow, come back into your database and just go ahead and click generate. And now we sent in the data with our photo, the brand guidelines and any information about our brand. And you can see we've already gone through and pulled in that information from our Airtable records. And so here we've just gone into Airtable and we've used our record ID, which is coming from that webhook, just to go ahead and get our record. And this is pulling in all of the information about our product. And we're doing the same thing down here for our brand. And then this node right here is we're just sending a message into Slack that basically says that our image is processing. And it's gone ahead and you can see here, if we come into Slack, it says UGC image processing, and this is the image that we're working with. So we know the system is working. The next thing we're doing is we're using two analyze image nodes from OpenAI. If you never set these up before, just come into OpenAI. I hit tab on the keyboard to access the side panel and go ahead and click OpenAI and just use analyze image. And then from there, we're just bringing in our logo coming from our logo URL. You can see we're just dragging this logo into here. And from here, we've just given it some really basic guidelines on how we want it to describe the logo. So describe the logo, include the brand name or text, any primary colors used, or any key visual elements. Really simple stuff. And you can see on the output here, it says the logo features three black horizontal rectangles stacked in a staggered ascending pattern. And if we come back, we can go ahead and we can look at our brand. And this is exactly the logo that we're working with. Next, we're doing a very similar thing, but we're analyzing the image of the Crocs in this case. If you're enjoying this content so far, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. This allows me to know which content you want more of. This is where a lot of the magic happens. This is the area that is totally customizable to you. So if we come in here again, we're bringing in the URLs. In this case, we're using the get UGC assets here because this is where our product photography lives and we're just dragging that in here. And then we're going to go ahead and give it this prompt. And we're just saying create, in our case, four distinct professional marketing imaging prompts for the original subject. And in this case, it's Crocs. And so again, if we come into here, all we're doing is pulling in the number of variants, the product name. It just says you're going to receive an uploaded image. We want to make sure that our new images like are really true to the product. We don't change the product around a lot. We're keeping the same body shape, the same face. If we have a person in the shot, we're able to change the background to have different types of settings, depending on our campaign instruction. We have some guidelines for different angles and compositions like dramatic or low angles or wide angles, again, depending on what makes sense for the campaign. And then we're just giving it some more ideas for lighting and things like that, as well as information about the logo, which we're just bringing in from our analyze image node here. So at the end, we're just outputting four different prompts and it's in this really long format. And this node unfortunately doesn't output four distinct separate prompts. And so we're just using a separate ChatGPT node to basically break that up into four different prompts. And so this comes out in a specific JSON format, which we can then split up. And you can see we have prompt one here. We have prompt two number here. We have prompt three here and so on and so on. So now we've been able to split these up so we can send these individually to a service called Kai AI, which uses Nano Banana to actually generate our images. And we're using Nano Banana Pro, which is the latest model, which creates some really incredible images. This is Kai AI. This is a site that gives you access to all the latest AI image and AI video generators. And you can use all the generators directly here on the site. Or if you go into these API documentations here, this is what we're using to basically get access to it through our N8N workflow. And here are all the parameters we can use, like the prompt, any of the input images, like our logo and the product, the different sizes and aspect ratios, the resolution, and then the output format, like a JPEG or a PNG. And so here we're just sending over all of our information to Kai AI using this JSON format. We're saying we want to send this to Nano Banana Pro because it's the latest and greatest. We're sending the prompt over. We're sending our input image. Again, this is our logo and the image of the Crocs and then giving it the output format that we want. And then from there, we're just waiting 30 seconds to see if the image is done because it takes a little bit of time to generate. We're checking to see if the image is done. If it isn't done, we're just looping back around and waiting for another 30 seconds. If it is done, we're just updating the record in Airtable with our images. We're generating all of the tags for those images and then updating the record with the Crocs to include all of those tags and then sending our status back over to Slack. So if we open up this if node, you can see we're looking to see that this state down here is equal to success. You can see that this state here equals success. If it isn't finished generating yet, it's going to say generating, but once it's done, it says success. And then we can pass that record on. So we can create a brand new record inside of Airtable with the original URL, all of our assets and the brand. And this is what gets saved here in this assets row, all of these images down here at the bottom. So we can go ahead and we can open up these last four because we generated four. These are a croc looking like a Nike ad. Here's one. Here's the second image right here on this gritty rooftop. And again, this includes our logo in the corner and the Crocs that matches our product perfectly. This is 
is the third image, like an overhead shot, which looks really cool on this kind of like gritty tiled floor. And then the last image that we got generated is this nice macro shot, again, includes our logo and this really beautiful detail on the Crocs itself. And if we come over here, we can actually open up this record. You can see we tagged it with footwear, Crocs, comfortable, casual, lifestyle, product photography. So if we want to go ahead and search our database for anything specific, we have this here all ready to go. And if we pop over to Slack, we can scroll down. You can see that we have all four of these images waiting for us inside of our Slack. If you're interested in more AI image content using Nano Banana, check out this video right here where I remix all of my best performing ads in seconds. I'll see you over there.